What up? We're back on our bad. So, back on the That's conversation. It's a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was, I was checking it out, man. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. This team yeah, man, but that's why I say the way I am, man. I don't shut nobody down or nobody off. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't know what they're going to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. You, you don't. I mean, at the end of the day, if you can't give the best advice, then, you know, just... Man, you should see the emails I've been getting. A lot of people don't like to chime in and comment. <coughs> Some of the people do, but, man, they're like, man, I'm going through it. I'm like, dude, how the hell did I get this job? And, right. and when I had my boy Vincent uh, uh, Petros on there, and he was right. vibrating a lot of that stuff. And, you know, right. I was telling, I was showing him the emails, like, look, dude, we, we got to play doctor. We got to, I even to help these guys out. Like, you, like, you, like, like, you, like, like, uh, you cannot fix nothing until you get to the bottom of it. Yep. Straight out, Tony. What, what, what we went wrong? You know what I'm saying? As a parent, I tell my kids all the time, where did I fuck up at? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Where, where, where did I go wrong? You know what I'm saying? Tell me and we'll correct it. Yep. What you got to say about that, uh, B? Well, you know, the thing is about about parenting, kids watch everything. And they, they emulate everything that you do. And, you you know, no one taught us how to be parents, especially when you're a parent at a young age. So you're going to make, you're going to make mistakes. It's trial and error. You know, I've been a dad for 34 years. Shit, I still make mistakes. So, you know, you, you can't beat yourself up too much. But the, the biggest thing when it comes to the to the, the, the young mind, they're very impressionable. And so you do have to be cognizant of your behavior and your actions, you know, when you're interacting, you know, with your kids because they, they want to mimic you, you know, because, you know, you're kind of like their idol. But there's, there's so much mental abuse, there's so much mental health issues. You know, my mom, I lost her three years ago. Um, she got the uh, dementia. And one day she was fine. Two years later, she was kicking me, my brother, and sister to the curb and then kicked my daddy to the curb. Kicked him out of his own house. So when you when you get that illness, man, sometimes it's, it's, it's just a, a river running downstream. You can't stop it. You know, but you always, at the end of the day, got to protect the kids, man. Always. So we'll play the rest of the audio, and then uh, we'll elaborate on there. Oh. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like I was wrong at this point, let me know. Yeah, for real. Man. Straight up. So I ain't, I ain't, I ain't too, you know, too, too old to learn, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all, we learn every day, dog. I learned something new every, every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't never too old to learn. Yeah. But that's where a lot of Samoans get fucked up at. Yeah. They feel like they get, oh, to a certain, yeah, they get to a certain age to where they don't have to take advice. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, they know it all. They're the end all be all. You know and it, 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 what they feel like they go. You know what I'm saying? What they say. It's gold. No, it's not. Not all the time. Yeah, not all the time, bro. Not all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a different way we can do this. You know what I'm saying? A better way. You know what I'm saying? He's, but man, 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 kids just want to be loved, man. See, he, he just, just, they just want answers to their questions, man. They, That's just, all they want. Like, they, they, they just want to be loved here yeah. in hell, man. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I tell my kids every day, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I don't know how much I got to be. I'm gonna love y'all for the rest of my life. Yeah, for real, man. And, and you, you know, you know, they, they they end up in toxic houses, homes, and just just like, oh man, why life gotta be like this? And then they go to school, right? They right. go, they compare it with their friends. Like, damn, y'all got that much problem. Y'all look so happy. Um, yeah. it's toxic at home. I can't be at home. I need to run away. And then, and then they they friends, they counterparts are telling them. Man, my mama, my parents tell me they love them. They they show me the, r the right way. You know, it's all fine and dandy. They're like, damn, why can't my home be like that? You know what I mean? What's crazy, funny? I, I hate to say it, but it goes back to the old saying. Right this is who loves the company, book. right? Yeah. yeah. When you go to school, they look for niggas that got the same problem as them. For real. They feel like, oh, you understand my pain. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. 
So they gonna ride it out. They go one gonna be like, well, you know what, fuck it, let's run away. So true. You know what I'm saying? So true. They go hang out with niggas that's happy and they home is is fine and dandy. No. Yeah, yeah, for real. And the pain they're going through. Yeah. Right. No. They gonna find the same motherfuckers that got the same company. problems. And then they go, and then they, and then they be bombarded with pedophilia. They be bombarded with incest. You know what I mean? They uncles. They. Exactly. You know, sleeping with them, raping them, and, yeah, that's, and then that's, 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 that's why they got a high rate of orphans back there because the, these 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 babies are getting raped, and who who is going to rape babies? I mean, the majority they're like, ah, oh, man, nah, no, man, I don't know what to tell that kid when they grow up. What will your daddy rape me? Like like my uncle raped me, my grandfather. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these yeah. topics. It got right deep. Here, it scary, got deep. Bro. Um, I know initially, man, we, we say Samoan, but it's across the board. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, man. This, oh my god, it's, it's mind boggling, man. But and you have to, whatever, uh, if you're being violated or whatever, man, you got to let somebody know. And and if you're abusive, abusive parent or whatever, man. Come on, man. My man Sua said his father used to wait till it was payday. He used to just go get alcohol and just tear up every day. Well, his home, but it was locked up. Oh, his home, yeah. okay. But, yeah, man, my man right here, Vince, you know, he touched on, on his mother having dementia. And then it was done with him, his, his siblings, his father. Well, let me tell you how it went. <clears throat> We're on a 4th of July phone call five years ago. Me and my siblings and my older sister, Risa, says, hey, mom's going to be leaving dad, so that's the end of it. And we're like, well, what brought this on? She don't build her no more. And we're trying to get to that root cause analysis shit that we had talked about. Mm -hmm. And so um, my sister said, well, you know, she's going to take the money and she's, she's going to divvy it up between, between me and Tony. And I'm like, well, what about me, Butch, and Myra? Well, you know, the way she wants to do it. So long story short is, my mother had an affair with this dude 40 years ago. Dementia set in. So she told my sister, if you find this man I had an affair with, I'm going to turn over my house to you, the life insurance policies, everything to you. And my sister went out there and found that man moved that man into my daddy's house. As that man was moving in, my daddy was walking out the front door. Wow. So when dementia hits, it, it hits, it, it, it's like a reality show. You think you've seen one thing and the next episode, it gets out of hand, it gets worse. And so me and my siblings, we all fell by the wayside and it just completely destroyed the relationships that we had built over the last 50, 55 years. So dementia is probably the most lethal they used to call it back in the day being senile, but senile, you know yeah. they got a medical term for it. Right? Yeah, all stuff, but it's dementia. Right. And so if you have, if you know someone where you see early signs of dementia, man, get them get them some help right away. How, wait, wait, how that how, what causes that? How that come about? Dementia is just when you when you start to get older, um, something starts to deteriorate within the brain, right. and it just trickles down. You know, you know the first thing first signs are is loss of memory. And then the second stage is the anger. You get really, really angry at people and especially at loved ones. And then the third one, um, you, they, they start putting sticky notes, you know, all through the wow. house trying to remember certain things because they know they're losing it. And for what she did to my dad, you know, my brother said, you know, take your, take your foot off dad's throat. She said, no, I'm just now starting. It's oh. with, with your mom. With my mama, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so um, it caused a whole lot of friction, man. And so because of that, I've lost a, a brother and a sister. I never want to associate myself with them because wow. as we're kids, the parents take care of the kids. And then as our parents get old and don't don't know no better, that's where the kids take care of the parents. Wow. They took advantage of my parents for coin, wow. okay, because they never reminded to shit. This is their opportunity, and they jumped in right at it. Now, a grown up would have said, "Mom, I'm not gonna find this dude for you because yeah, you, right now, I think you need some some mental help." But she went along with the program and ended up getting my dad's house. And so, six months later, uh, after my dad moved in with the bad sister, my dad died. He was heartbroken. 
He was heartbroken. Yeah, so I mean, there's a there's a lot of things you know out there that affect people in adverse ways. Uh, you know, the guy we were listening to talking about his situation, <laughs> man, that's all around the world. All around the world. All, all around the world, man. Yeah. Um, kids always seem to be the biggest victim of grown ass parents who are yeah. still kids themselves between the years. Yeah. You know, and, and so and, until they start getting some some therapy and some mental help. Don't be passing that shit on to your kids, man. Kids are innocent, man. Let kids be kids. Yeah. But 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 it's 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 hard. The parents are gonna do that. They they're gonna do what the hell they want. Yeah. But when when me and Sue started the conversation, don't get me wrong, it is across the board, but we were just talking about the small community. Right. On like, you know, hey, it, it's no difference. He be black, white, Asian, Indian, mm -hmm. Samoan, Somalian. It's all the way across the board. But our conversation was our people are like, dang, why, why, why we got so much anger bottled up? That's where it started. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, that's, you know, the gap from that, you know, mental illness and all yeah. that stuff. So mm -hmm. that's what that conversation, and we, we know it's all the way across the board, but this is narrowed down to, to this community. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. That's a great point, though, Greg. You know, because right there, man, as a Samoan, a child on there, don't say so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it shut down. Like I just said earlier, like like you don't take the food, it's disrespect. Yeah. You you full, you, you you don't eat. Oh, that mom gonna get out the house. Wow. He gonna get out of my house. You know, and then like when you bring guests, mm -hmm. and, and and they eat, they don't finish it. You need to find somewhere to put it in your pocket, dude. Wow. Like out there, out here is not too a little watered down. Yeah, out there, I the things I get from my cousin, they're like it's still old school, even though we got internet. It's plantation. That don't never stop. It's handed down from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. That's all mentally what they know. Mm -hmm. Discipline. God is always first and then family. But then the family is like, it ain't really family. It is family, but it's the whole village. Mm -hmm. So the whole village is involved in your business. So that's where the incest, right. pedophilia come in. Your dad done. Well, you know, you know what I mean. It's, it's all, it's, man. It's well, I'm, I'm watching this uh, this reality show, and they had a Samoan couple, right? And the dude is trying to satisfy his wife, but he still has to send money back to yeah the mom, islands, right? To the islands. That's the, that's what I said earlier. Yeah, and the wife is like, "No, nah, we got our own bills. We can't bear." He's like, "Shut up. Yeah. This is the culture." So I, I kind of now you on point with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. how the culture is. Yeah. Like, like that's what I'm saying. There's only three ways to get off the rock: through the military, NFL. Mm. That's why they, you see when they playing on lava rocks, dude. They yeah. don't get, they built for that. Yeah. You know, and then and then the church mission. You get out. As soon as they got out, they 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 see all this. They can turn that man. It's more to life than the rock. Oh my wow. God, I love it out here. They lose themselves, and then the, the family call. What happened to the money, man? Uh, uh, you were supposed to go out there for a purpose. Go out there and send money. In America, man, there's money, everything. Man, y'all living all, off the land. Mm -hmm. So when that money is being delinquent in every any way, shape, or form, even they send a piece of, like mafia, they send the people out here, oh, they just cut you off completely. Mm -hmm. So if any of your family die here or whatever, you made a family, some of them might come, some of them like, Disrespectful, right. especially when it comes from the high chief. When that family lineage leads to the high chief and all that, dude, it's serious, dude. Mm. And if it's that that serious, they'll send people to come get you. Put hands on you. Yeah, dude, man, I'm telling you, I man. Didn't know, I didn't know. It was a it's it's, it's yeah. the, the way the way it's structured to me is somewhat like mafia. Mm -hmm. You got the bosses, the capadons, and you got the capos, right? Mm -hmm. The soldiers. The high chief up here, he don't say nothing. They call it a league. Mm -hmm. He got his talking chiefs under him, mm -hmm. right? He'll send them, hey, that's all he do. Wow. And then from the, the talking chiefs to the, to the soldiers. Wow. I mean, it, it's I not no really idea. brutal like that, but it could get like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah go ahead, everything. Doctors, um, you, you would think, I mean, that when, when uh, Samoans leave the island, 
and come and learn the education here and you think you could just take it back to Samoa and try to imp implement it yeah. into our culture but, but can't. you can't can't you're going against the grain. Yeah. <laughs> You're going against yeah, culture. Yeah. That's why our, our, our yeah. island, our, our culture in the community, the culture is still strong. The Hawaiians, yes. they don't even know how to speak Hawaiian. No no disrespect to my brothers out there in the sunny Aloha states. You know what I mean? All eight islands. But, they, you know, they strangers in their own land. So when you go to Somalia, I like to call it Somalia. I, I don't, I'm not politically correct. There's something wrong up here. You know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. so anyway, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and, and back in the uh, in the motherland, like 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 everything structured. So somebody goes off of the structure the way. Oh uh, yeah, you, you still gotta come home, dude. You know what I mean? Pay the piper. And you see fifty <laughs> someones at the airport waiting for you. It ain't gonna be no hula hula stuff. Ooh. It's gonna be like laying hands. Mommy and Daddy sent us to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, man, that's how, dude, dude. Damn. Like you see bodies chopped up out there. Dude. Like they, we don't, we hardly got guns. We got guns, but it's machetes. Yeah, dude. like Mexico and shit. Just like yeah, Mexico yeah. and, and ja Jamaica. Yeah. Just like Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. It's serious, dude. Like you know, the crime rate is. It's no crime rate out there because they check each village, check each other. Hey. Tell, tell, yeah. tell your man's right there, clean that up, man. Yeah. You know, because our, our village is dirty it up. Mm -hmm. So so everybody's in check, like, on the uplift. You got knuckleheads going over there drinking, like, yeah, testing. Mm -hmm. But they'll send their soldiers up to, you know, who, 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 who's his family? Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> now, you know the, the one guy we were talking the about. The foreigners that, my bad, the, I, I'm going to say this thing. And the foreigners that are married to Samoan, they find out the hard way. They're like, dude, you marrying the whole family. You ain't, you ain't yeah. marrying the girl. Because now that money, when you get paid, all these in-laws are funneling money to there. Just like the Vatican. Just like the, the Rothschilds. Just like, you know, but it's it's never it's, it's never enough. Right. Because they don't know about investment. They don't know nothing about that. They just invest and make them look good in the village. Mm -hmm. Look good. Because, okay, you know, the, the one guy you were talking about, he was talking about, you know how he was raised how the parents adversely always affect you know, in your in your in your culture yep. i just want to give somebody you guys a little heads up uh yesterday father's day and i got the text right here my daughter texted me happy father's day you know i love you and my response was i love you too kiddo thank you for being my inspiration mm. so i'm always empowering my kids i'm always telling them how appreciative i am of them mm. and i think Probably, I don't know in your culture if that's done enough, but it is. It is, but I know a lot of it cultures is it isn't. And I know, um, you know, a lot of young people need to hear that from them, from their parents. Pat on the back, you know? yeah. And not not just once a month, you know. All the time. I hugged my son yesterday, and first thing out of my mouth was, dude, I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's every day I talk to them, I tell them I love them, because I don't know what day God going to say, you know what, player? Time to come home. And I don't want to go home knowing yeah. I never expressed myself you, to my kids. You ain't kid. been right down there, right? Yeah, exactly. you ain't been right. Exactly. So, you know, it's just, it's just, everything is a work in progress. And, you know, us three, we're going to try and champion this stuff. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, man, sometimes I'll be thinking, I'll be, I'll be like, man, we're going to spread this channel royal cheese for relief. But anyway, <laughs> he's a good uh, 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 new addition to the, to the channel. Now we, I, we may have to change. We may have a backup channel, you know. You know, but anyway, he need to be a counselor. I told him like last year, hey, you need to get a channel. He was like, you gonna help me? Yeah, we kind of started on it, but we so inundated with a lot of stuff, man. This whole Metroplex right here, we do everything. We do everything. This is a record label right here. You know what I mean? No, okay, well, did you want to say anything? I mean, you got to stay covered, man. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I touch all bases. You know, I played baseball before. and I went from Mustang to Bronco. I never play, played uh, Pony, you know, Pony League, you know. But I was a catcher, and they tried me shortstop. I was kind of slow. They they, 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 they they took me back to second base. I was a beast. I, I, I did catcher. <laughs> You know, the balls are too small and too fast. You can't, oh, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So I stayed at second base. I played Mustang, and then I went to Brockwell. I never oh, played shit. Pony League. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Them little skin balls. Man, I didn't even see that. Man, 
man, you gotta catch it, man. That was a strike. Okay, my bad. Hey. Damn, I didn't see that again. Yeah, we gonna bench this back catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of I can't play on the field at all. I mean, I mean, oh, you know, you know, you know, me and Jose Canseco, you know. <laughs> Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? We used to roar it up, you know, you know. But anyway, we're going to play the rest of this, and then we're going to close it off, man. It's been too long, dog. been too long. Brady, my dad, Brady, like, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it right there. Yeah, all that falls into that mental health issue, dude. That's how they, they know. A lot of people don't like to address that. Because they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to know the truth. They get guilty. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of motherfuckers are scared of the real, but yeah. but if they open up and, and, and listen for a minute and, and take it for what it is, they'll yeah. live a whole better life. Yeah, they yeah. Have, don't want to go to jail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but maybe you shouldn't have done what you had to do. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your ass should have been. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you chimed in and everything, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this for the next podcast. We're going to do a number three to just help anybody out, and we're going to post links in the description. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a shout-out. I'm going to give you a shout-out, and I'm going to let you know when we're going to air it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, 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 I didn't watch all your videos, man. Huh? For real? <laughs> I'll be out of town looking at this. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey yeah. subscribe to the Black Gold Grind and, and, and this one. You know what I mean? I did, I did both of them. That's right. That's no, right, man. You know, I'm trying to get out to your way, man. I'm trying to come over there and, you know, you know, give you some love, man. I miss you, man. Come on down, man. Yeah, man. Uh, we got to make it happen soon. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and come this out. I thank you so much for trying. And then we might have a part four. So <laughs> I, 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 we're going to have a podcast as soon as the team come in, maybe tomorrow. And then, and then, and then we're going we gonna to get out where we, where, where we get out at. You know what I mean? You know, and by the time you finish it, the old folks going to be calling you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey they're going to they they try to call the INS over there. You know? <laughs> so, oh, man, that's so good. So you one of the motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the old man gonna be like, man, you trying to put me in jail? Nigga, I'm 99 years old, dude. Well, put your ass in there, man. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. All right, my bro, thanks for calling in, man. I appreciate you. And I'm gonna get you, bro. All day, Sally. All right, for sure. Yeah, yeah, bye. Yeah. Man, it was great to uh, hear you guys having fun towards the end of that conversation, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Because yeah. because the topic is so serious. For real, man. Uh, man, <laughs> I appreciate you, Sewell, man. And man, everybody that's listening, man, we're, we're here to listen in, man, try to provide assistance, mm-hmm. and we're right here. And like, and like as usual, you know, comment, like, subscribe. We're going to have some, we have a few links, additional links down there. Um, where, where you can go get free help and stuff, you, you know, for mental health. Uh, also, comment on there, man. It might be somebody watching this show. Be a be a psychiatrist and say, hey, call me. We'll consultate on Zoom or whatever. You know, you never know who's watching this because when we use the tags, chiropractor and all that, they chime in. When 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 you go to uh, SEO on YouTube, uh, search engine optimization, you start looking like oh, and then they our video. Pull up, you might find answers under just the comment alone. Yeah, you gotta reach out. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna reach out as much as we can, man. Like Walter Sepulveda, we're reaching out big time. It was because of him we did part two. Man, respect my brother Walter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, you gotta sir. yeah, you yes, got anything sir. else to close off? Uh well, you know, the thing is, like I like I said yesterday, we just scratching the surface on this topic. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's much, much more to come because it's a never ending saga. And there's millions and millions of people that are adversely affected by this. Let's reach them. Let's touch them. And let's let's try and get touch them in the right way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. No, no funny business. No funny business. Until the next video.